to do the same thing. Have a life-changing experience. And the older you get, you know the nerves that you're going to dread. You know what it feels like, and that's what makes it harder. Mm. Feel a little better sitting here with us now? A million times better. You guys <laughs> make me calm as well. So. But we saw the eight women back there getting set for the women's 200 IM final. It's that same deal, that same tension and pressure, gamesmanship for some perhaps. Others see familiar faces and friends, and now they take the walkout that Elizabeth just showed us out to the pool deck as they're introduced for this final. We'll see an Olympian crown here. Katinka Hosu, a terrific swimmer from Hungary, holds the world record in this event. Melanie Margalis from the United States, second in the Olympic trials in 2016 and fourth in the Olympic Games. She's in this. She's in lane two. Emma Barksdale is next here in lane one, the 23-year-old from Davis, California, 14th in the 400 IM at trials in 2016. There's the aforementioned Margalis, now 29 years old, has an Olympic gold medal in the 4x2 free relay from 2016. Megan Small, 23-year-old, is in lane three. In lane four, Alex Walsh, one of two back-to-back -back Virginia Cavaliers, 19 years old, great promise and talent, and maybe their moment is going to be here. Kate Douglas is in five, 19 years old from Pelham, New York. Like Walsh, a personal best in the semis to get here. Madison Cox is in lane six, 10th in the 400 IM earlier in trials. Will this be a better event for her? Tori Husk, the 18-year-old, who won the 100 fly opportunity here to have another event on her Olympic program. Peyton Nelson in lane eight. Wisconsin Aquatics, the 22-year-old. Also, personal best in the semifinal. 200 meter IM for disciplines, 50 meters each. Spot on the Olympic team on the line. Take your mark. This race is going to come down to which athlete worries the least about the one that is next to them. You have to swim your own race and take those blinders off on that last 50 freestyle. But right now, this first 150 is about playing on your strengths, working your weaknesses, and trying to keep those blinders on. Tori Husk out early in seven, no surprise. That's what we saw in the prelims. And I will tell you, that's exactly what we expected, right? And this is why this race is so exciting, Elizabeth, because it can change, the lead can change hands so many different times. It's one of my favorite events to watch. And Husk is out there, she's got a great first 100, but the middle 100 will belong to lane number four. That's Alex Walsh right there in the middle. Walsh gaining some ground here on Husk. They look up at those backstroke flags, know that the wall is coming. And they turn halfway through with Husk leading Walsh and Kate Douglas 1.7 behind. Under one minute at the 100 is so fast. Two swimmers, both at 59. And this is where swimmers like Madison Cox, Megan Small, Melanie Margalis are going to have to make their move. Breaststroke is their power move right now. Cox is right above Husk. A lot of people pulling from Madison Cox. has got a great breaststroke. Boy, you see Walsh, that's what I talked about. The middle 100 is just sensational. And she was faster than anybody else on the last 50 in the semis. Outstanding 50 for Walsh and the white cap who's taking the lead. And they go to freestyle and turn for home. And there goes Madison Cox right there. Husk is looking pretty good on the it is Walsh in four. Cox in six, trying to close and gaining ground on her. Final 10 meters. Walsh in four, Cox in six, Douglas on the move in five. It'll be tight at the wall, and it is Walsh. Alex Walsh, Kate Douglas, the 19-year-olds, the one-two. And Alex Walsh, makes the U.S. Olympic team with Kate Douglas almost certain to join her in Tokyo as well. Oh my. Madison Cox, two one hundredths of a second. The joy, uh, four one hundredths separated the top three swimmers. Elizabeth. Oh. <sighs> 
the reality after the joy, right? Yeah. But... She's just staring at that board and just looking at two one hundredths of a second. The difference between second and third, and likely the difference between Tokyo or not. And this fly turned Tori Husk out fast, Alex Walsh both out fast. And there's Cox underwater right there. And coming into the 200, you see the lead that, Co that Husk has on the rest of the field. Alex Walsh right here, staying really close. And that breaststroke leg for Douglas, moving her up just a bit. And this 150 turn, Madison Cox made such a great move on that 50 breaststroke. And Elizabeth, I thought she had it. Until I did about, too. And literally until about five meters left, I thought she had it. I thought, oh my gosh, she's finally gonna, going to become an Olympian. And look at this. You can just see how two one hundredths of a second. And it's actually four one hundredths of a second between three swimmers. Incredible. Oh, right there. It's exhausting. You can barely see it with your eye, and that's the difference of... Joy and heartbreak. You got it. Walsh and Douglas, both 19 years old. The University of Virginia Cavaliers. What a great year it was for Virginia in the pool. They go 1-2. And Madison Cox just... Uh,